Hello, my name is Zappy and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. Currently, I need to focus on three different missions. The mining operations on the surface of the moon, the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft heading for the moon and the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft heading for Minmus. Right now, I am in control of the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft heading for Minmus, as this is the first spacecraft that will arrive at its destination, which will be in 1 day and 23 hours. So let's... no, before I do warp here, I like to check the trajectory. Yeah, the trajectory is looking good. I can refine it once I am in... Uh, the sphere of influence of Minmus. So, it's time for the time warp. Warp here. Here we go. Wow, that's cool. We can see how the moon is orbiting around Kerbin. That's cool. This is interesting. I like this. That's fantastic. Time warp complete. Oh, we have arrived. We have arrived at our destination in 13 minutes. We will enter the sphere of influence of Minmus. That's kill. All right. And and come on. Nearly there. All right. We are now in the sphere of influence of Minmus. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, I like to refine a little bit my trajectory. So let's add a maneuver node here and do this. Very nice. Also, I like to set the Minmus space station as my target. Inclination of 1.7 degrees. Can I... 1.4? Alright, I like to get the nodes to the periapsis where I will execute the orbit insertion burn and by doing this, I can fix the inclination right away when I insert the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft into an orbit around Minmus. Yeah, this, this is a good idea. All right. Oh, only 2.7 meters of delta V are required for this maneuver, and that's cool. Let's do this. I think I can do this with RCS, yes. RCS is powerful enough. Very nice. Awesome. And stop. Yeah. Well, almost, almost. This is good. Maybe I can RCS back on. Okay. That's perfect. Now I need to prepare my Orbit insertion burn, oh dear. Um, no, this is bad. At first I thought, hey, I can go for a direct rendezvous, but no, this is not possible. That's sad. I am behind the... Hmm. What happens if I bring the the periapsis down a bit. Okay, um... Yeah, let's bring it down to maybe... 60 kilometers. Dang it. Uh, and which way do I need to burn? I should have remembered this. I need to burn... that way. Alright. So, let's see. Would be really awesome if I could go for a direct rendezvous. All right, let's let's do this. Let's bring it down to maybe. Would you? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's say 66 kilometers is good. All right, awesome. Now I like to try this again. Okay. Dang it, still, still ahead. So let's let's just aim for a normal orbit, and then I can go from there. Also, I like to fix the inclination. Um, the ascending node 1.9 degrees. So this way, this was too much. Easy. Too much again. 0 0.4. It's really finicky. 0 0.1. All right, this is good. Coming up in 8 hours and 10 minutes. All right, that's good. 8 hours and 10 minutes. Now let's... Let's... Switch to the other Supply Mark V spacecraft, which is heading for the moon. In... Okay. Now I have the orbit insertion burn as well as the this correction burn at nearly the same time. Okay, of course, of course, this had to happen. It's not that important that wait. Maybe I can I can do this a little bit later. Maybe can I maybe change this to nine hours? Okay. Coming up in nine hours. I think that ha this had a. Uh, yeah, this was not that good. All right, now I need to change this a bit. Let's see. Now this is the wrong direction. Okay. I like to do this. Good. Uh, 26 kilometers. Can I... Hmm. What happens if I do this a little bit earlier? Maybe in... Oh dear. In seven hours. Can I then get this even closer? This would be awesome. All right. Yeah, this, this is looking better. It's looking good. Uh, 130 kilometers is good as well. Yeah, let's let's do this maneuver in uh, seven hours and twenty minutes. That's good. In the meantime, I like to switch to the moon ore transport. I'm quite sure I can load some more ore into this uh, spacecraft. You have extracted fifty percent of Sean's canneries ore. Awesome. That's good. Um, yeah, this is the right spacecraft, but I like to check your ore tank. Yeah, 1,015 units of ore. That's good. All right, um, I need this docking port, so let's stop this service harvester again. Retract the drill. Retract those radiators. Very nice. And switch to you. Docking mode. Release the brakes. Okay, easy. Easy. Okay. Looking good, looking... No, 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 Ooh, okay. And? Oh, not again, not again. All right. Ali up. I said Ali up. No? Okay. We're once again having the same issue. Maybe I should... No, no. Maybe I should try to use a different docking port. Maybe it's a little bit simpler when I try to use a... Yep, come on. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Nope. This time it doesn't want to... Dog. That's that's a disappointment. All right, let's let's see. Let's let's try this docking port. Maybe this docking port is a little bit easier to to use. But wait, before I do this, let's come to a stop again. Switch to you. Let's stop the service harvester. It can remain extended, but I like to. Make sure that I'm not damaging the 
the radiators. Alright. Easy, easy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is... This is even more off. This is bad. Why, why is this so difficult right now? Um... It was working, it was working. Why isn't it working now? Maybe, maybe this docking port. I need to find a, a docking port that works... That works for the... Okay, easy. No, 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 no. Easy, easy, easy. A little bit this way. Yes, yes, yes. For it, for it. Okay, this was too much. And... Okay, okay. Finally, finally I found a docking port. Maybe this is the right docking port. So, let's see. Let's transfer some ore. I think I am... Yeah, I think I can launch the immune ore transporter into an orbit. I think I can... fill the... the large holding tank of the spacecraft completely. This would be awesome. Okay, let's... no, no. Let's undock. And I'm in control of you. That's good. Okay. I'm super happy. I'm super happy that this works so well. Alright. Only the, the position of the docking ports isn't that great. But unfortunately I can't move them anymore. No no no. Ooh, okay. It would be it would be super cool if um in if I if there would be some kind of of device that can move parts up and down so that I can that I can basically use this kind of um, system in order to move up and down the docking ports to all the time um, get it to the right height. This this would be really awesome. Unfortunately, this is not part of the stock parts of Kerbal Space Program, and I'm not quite sure if someone has ever developed and designed a, such a part. I'm aware, or I know, that there are some... Okay, this docking port seems to be the, the one that works best. Um, what do I wanted to say? Yes, I know that there are robotic arms, but I'm not quite sure if there are some some parts that can move other parts up and down or so. Well, a robotic arm would be also a cool device, an, an arm which I can then extend to, to load the ore into the rover. This would be interesting. This would be also cool. A cool and neat design. All right. Easy, e easy, easy, easy. All right, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. It's a little bit unwieldy when the the holding tank is full, but I'm still super surprised how well the rover behaves on the surface of the moon since the the upgrade because previously the thing was just drifting around like crazy. So I'm I'm super happy about this. Now I don't think I need Oh yes, I can. I think I have enough ore to fill the tank completely. That's awesome. That's fantastic. All right. A lot of driving. Easy. Yeah, even when, when I drive around those those fast turns, when I when I make those those crazy maneuvers, then the the rover is still still good to to handle. It's it's fantastic. I'm I'm super happy about the, the new physics. This is this is awesome. This is so much fun. All right. Uh, 
So we got the first 1,500 units of ore. That's awesome. I hope, I hope I have enough Delta V in my Mune Ore Transporter so that I can reach orbit. This would be fantastic. This is now really the true test of the whole mining operation. When I'm able to bring this thing into an orbit of the moon, then yeah, everything everything is working as intended. When I fail at this, then well, then I have to go back to the drawing board and uh, yeah, come up with with a better transport spacecraft. Easy. Come on. Awesome. All right. In. Perfect. Our tank is full. That's awesome. Let's undock again. Oh, no, let's switch to the rover. Okay, I like to park the rover next to the Muon mining facility. I need to remember that this docking port is the docking port that works best. Let's come to a stop here. Very nice. Switch to you. So you can now continue the mining operation. I can extend again the thermal control system. Very nice. And deploy the drill. And Start the service harvester. Awesome. All right, back to you. You have hopefully enough fuel. All right, let's see. Let's see. I am definitely controlling from the right device. This is good. And oh, 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 oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Set as target. We have we have our launch window. This is awesome. Um, at 15 kilometers. So I need to go for a 10 kilometer orbit. Yeah, it's approaching, it's approaching. How far is it away? There it is. Um, oh, we need to launch, we need to launch. Um, orbit surface mode in staging mode. Three, two, one, and all right, we have, we have enough thrust to lift this heavy spacecraft. This is good. This is awesome. All right. All right. Yeah, we are a little bit behind, but that's that's okay. I will insert this into a 10 kilometer orbit so that I can catch up with the with the fuel delivery spacecraft. Let's say 10,500 meters. Awesome. All right. At maneuver. Wow, this is a perfect timing. This is awesome. Let's let's do this. Easy. Oh no, this is too much. This is way too much. Okay, this is looking interesting over there. Can I? Um, there it's ahead of me. There, I'm still behind. Thirteen kilometers. Thirteen. Thirteen. Wait. This is a fourteen kilometer separation. Can I get this even closer? Remains at fourteen. All right. I can. I can deal with this once I am in. There it is. Once I am in in orbit. All right. Okay. Now. Now. When I can insert uh, this spacecraft into an orbit, then the whole mining operation is is a total success. Then everything is working as intended. All right. It's a super heavy spacecraft. Can I, I think I can see it from here, a mass of more than 28 tons. I think at, I had to check this, dang it, I missed to, to check this before liftoff. I think with the, with the fuel tank still full or halfway full, 
it almost full. It was close to 30 tons or so, I guess. So that's cool. And um, yeah, we still have some fuel left. That's awesome. And the wow, cool, cool. I'm happy. I'm super happy, super excited. Okay, now now I need to find a way. Um, point five. What happened? This is the ascending node. When I try to fix this. Point four. Point two. Okay, and now when I do this, can I? Now then, it's still ahead of me. Okay, let's just fix the inclination. Coming up in five minutes. Yes, let's let's do this first, and then I can find a way how I can rendezvous with this spacecraft. We are definitely catching up. This is good. All right. Oh, you're still in surface mode. No, no, orbit mode. Good. Very nice. And stop. Awesome. Okay, so maybe here. Yes. Nice. 2.4 kilometers. One kilometer. 600 meters. Awesome. All right. This is good. Wow. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super happy that everything is working so well. This is fantastic. This is amazing. Two, one. Easy. Let's do this and stop. Perfect, 700 meters. All right, let's add a maneuver here. Um, when I'm, yeah, I think I can finish the, the rendezvous and docking maneuver in the daylight. Uh, this is awesome, that's fantastic. All right, That's, this is, wow, marvelous. Absolutely fantastic, this is cool. So we are now closing in. There's my fuel delivery spacecraft. A very slow approach. Right, let's slow down here. Um, Target. Very nice. Think I can speed up this process a bit. Good, very good. All right. Yeah, let's accelerate to maybe ten meters per second. Awesome. Okay, my docking port, my target docking port is there. So I need to fly past this spacecraft. Okay, well, let's 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 just get get close. Let's just get super close to the spacecraft so that I can then start the the final approach to the docking port. And yeah, we should have plenty of time until the we have orbital sunset and that's good all right two hundred fifty meters getting closer um <laughs> no I think I will wait until I'm really close before I will start to approach the okay now slow down. Less than 100 meters away. All right, let's let's come to a stop. Easy, easy, and stop. Okay, docking mode. Okay, 
Okay, no, no, no. Easy, 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 easy. I think I need to fly... Maybe in... Oh, no. In, in, in. This direction. Okay, yeah, this, this space card is super heavy. It's super hard to to accelerate with with RCS. Okay, that's interesting. So I need to be super careful with the with the final approach. I shouldn't be too fast. Okay, in the meantime, can I select my docking port? I like to dock to this space. This docking port. This is looking interesting to see the the surface of the moon passing by. It almost looks like those those um, live streams you can see from the International Space Station when uh, Soyuz or a supply spacecraft is approaching the, the space station. Then you have also the some modules of the space station in in the front and the the spacecraft behind in front of the planet or in front of the Earth. That's all the time super cool. All right. I'm super close. I hope my... let's just check. Yes, I have enough electric charge. This is good because just in case I should retract my solar panels. Okay. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good when I turn around. Then I should be able to do the final approach right now. Now it's time to Slow down. Awesome. Right kill. Easy. Okay. Perfect. Wow. A little bit... I hope, I hope the spacecraft will, will turn around. It's quite heavy. I hope this will not cause a crazy wobble effect or so. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wait, let's let's slow down a bit. I'm, I'm super concerned. I, I hope... No, no, this was the wrong thing. I wanted to do... What do I want to do? I want to... Yeah, this is basically what I like to do. Okay. Now let's, let's cancel this. Okay, now I should be well aligned. Nice. Nice, very nice. Careful. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. Marvelous. Okay, I hope... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. This is exactly what I was afraid of in... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Calm down. Calm down. Take it easy. Take it easy. Right, I, I need to be quick. Come on, come on, come on. Transfer the ore. Transfer, transfer, trans transfer, transfer. Good. And in and in. Oh dear, I hope this is calming down. Or I need to, to leave this... <laughs> the, the fuel delivery spacecraft. Right away again. Okay. And this fuel tank. Out and out. Okay, I think the the wobble effect is coming down. This is good. Yeah, it's not getting stronger. This is good. All right. Who? I I was really concerned. Okay, spacecraft has been refueled. So with this, 
with the first 1500 units of ore delivered, we have reached the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Epi. See you!